What the? Derek and Jillian. Wow, hi, Brian. Hey, kiddo. What, what, are, what are you guys doing here? I got a card that says they're throwing a dinner in my honor. Wait a minute, what the hell's going on here? Everybody got the same invitation? Yorio, if you're not going to eat your half of the cheeseburger, I'll see if they have a freezer so I can keep it nice. I'm going to walk around. I think my vagina's asleep. Oh. Hey. Uh, didn't think I'd see anyone I knew here. This, uh, this is Stephanie. Hi, everybody! Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd meet Glenn's friends! Uh, yeah, I figured, uh, why not? You know, you know, you, we, you and I see each other from time to time. Oh my god, we, like, never see each other! This guy! You, like, disappear for a month and then you call me? So silly! Oh, you're lucky I like you so much! Okay, why don't you go ahead and take the bags in? Wow, it, it looks like the whole town got invited. Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mr. means. Mr. Mord, Mr. Muriel, Mayor West, Mr. Oh my God, seriously. If you will all please follow me to third floor, I show you to your rooms. You are all expected for dinner at eight o'clock. Oh good, I'm starved. Settle down, will you? None of this makes any sense. Everyone got invitations from an anonymous source for a dinner in their honor, when that's clearly not the case. Now we're here, where the hell's our host? Well, at least you all had evening wear provided for you. I thought this was going to be a lawn party. I don't have one pair of long pants. Boy, it's kind of awkward seeing Jillian here with Derek. wonder if she's thinking about me. I don't know, are you a pony or the color blue? <laughs> Derek, look! Ha, huh, how do you like that? Have you guys ever seen Jim Henson's Labyrinth? No. Have you ever seen the Channel 5 News? No. A uh, Labyrinth has teenage Jennifer Connelly. Channel 5 News has file footage of pills being sorted. Some people think Jennifer Connelly's old now and that her hands look like two bags of snakes. I think that's bogus. I don't think we have much in common. Good heavens, Meg, you're sprouting up like a weed. I know, she's growing every day. Meg, you remember Dr. Hartman? Of course she does. I performed her very first pelvic exam. Unless I'm confusing you with someone else. Nope, that was... That was you. Good evening, everyone. <gasps> James Woods! Thank you for joining me at my humble manor. I'd like to introduce you to my lovely companion, Priscilla. Nice to meet you all. Who's he? James Woods. Oh, I thought he was a shark. No, he was on a show called Shark. But he's made of wood? No, his last name is Woods, but he's not made of wood. Nobody is. Oh, Don-chan! Oh, my God! This truly is a night to celebrate, especially for me. Hey, what's going on here, Woods? The invitation said this was a dinner in my honor. That's what mine said, too. Yeah, me too. Mine too. Same here. Hi. Where's the food? Well, actually, this dinner honors all of you. Where should I begin? You see, recently I've become a born-again Christian, thanks to this beautiful little angel. She came into my life as if out of nowhere, enchanted me beyond my wildest dreams, and opened my eyes to the cleansing truth of Jesus Christ's love. No, oh, honey, it was always within you. I just helped you find it. Um, 
What does all this gay stuff have to do with us? Well, the fact of the matter is, I have wronged each and every one of you in some way. And since I'm a man of God now, I am truly repentant. So, I invited you all here to make amends. Now, why the hell should we trust you? Yeah, you've been terrorizing our family for years. I understand that there is some healing to do here tonight. And I am prepared to be patient. Please, won't you just give me a chance? And I promise you won't be disappointed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go check on dinner. Oh, I'll help you, sweetheart. This is all very strange. I agree. Something's not right. I don't know. Maybe we should give him a chance. Maybe he really is born again. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I'm very intuitive with these things. Maybe if I sit in his chair, I can get a reading on his energy. I mean, if he's an Aquarius, a rebirth would not be unexpected. That's enough, Stephanie. You know, it's like when I did Glenn's star chart. <gasps> did the... Did the cork hit me? <laughs> My God. She's dead. She's been shot. I can't help feeling this would be sadder if she wasn't heavy.